Hi, this is Deacon Jeremy with a brief message about the readings from today at Mass, uh, Thursday, March 26th. We're looking at the uh, first reading from Exodus chapter 32, and the Lord is speaking to Moses, and he says, For the people have become depraved. And further down, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them, that I will make of you a great nation. So God's speaking to Moses there about uh, the the people that fell back into idolatry. What exactly did the Israelites do? Well, in their hearts, they call it the hardness of their hearts in Scripture and the uh, stubbornness of their will and their hearts. They were stiff-necked, the Exodus reading says. So stiff-necked, we can all relate to. We've all been there at times in our lives, uh, times when we're stubborn, we're selfish, and any moments where we turn away from God, we turn aside from God, as it says there in, in Exodus. So if we could think about a time in our lives, maybe if you have some time uh, while you're while you're home on lockdown with this extra time we have at home, hopefully spend some quiet time with the Lord and some quiet time in reflection. But try and think about a time when in your life, maybe a long time ago, maybe recently, when you may have been stiff-necked or stubborn or selfish, perhaps turned away from God in, in a big way or in a little way. When we turn away from God, uh, the awful three-letter word comes to mind, S-I-N, sin. So sin essentially is a turning away from God. So the proposition I have you or want to leave you with today is to think about uh, this time um, or times in your life when Perhaps you have drifted away yourself. It takes work. It's hard work. You have to find a quiet space. You'll have to put yourself in the presence of God. Invite the Holy Spirit to come in and be with you. Invite Mother Mary to bring that light, the light of Christ, to your mind. Think of any time in your life when you've been stiff-necked or stubborn in God's eyes. Especially those times since your last confession. And what we would call this is an examination. Basically, it's an examination of your conscience. If you could think of any time beyond your last confession, maybe it's something that you haven't brought to confession before, maybe something from earlier in your life, uh, your teenage years, your young adult years, whenever. Those times in your life that maybe you have turned away from God, turned aside from God. If it has been a long time since your since your last confession, then what better time to come back to the Lord than today or sometime this Lent? The church asks us to come to confession, to make a sincere confession and make reconciliation with the Lord at a minimum once a year. Typically during this time of Lent is is a good time to do it. So again, just ask yourself, when have I turned away from God? When have I been stiff-necked? When have I been stubborn? When have I have? When have I lacked uh, charity, patience, um, faithfulness? Perhaps maybe I haven't been faithful to God in my prayer. Maybe I've been lackadaisical in my prayer or my mass attendance. Um, maybe I haven't been to confession in a while. But when we turn back to the Lord and reconcile ourselves with God. God the Father, the Father of mercies, our sins are wiped away. Our souls become clean, just like when they were washed clean at baptism. When we humble ourselves and turn back to the Lord in confession, we counteract in a way the innate stiff neck uh, tendencies inside of us. The stubbornness, that antagonism that we all tend to possess in our hearts. The Lord Jesus gave us this sacrament so we could make things right with God again. All the times we turn aside from him, we turn away from him and follow someone or something else. Be it a material or worldly good or things. 
or uh, could be money, power, prestige, honor, pleasure, lust, all of this. We show a love of ourselves instead of a love of God and a love of others. Whatever it may be, whatever idols we have in our lives, we want to root them out and be sure to reorient ourselves back towards God and keep him as our focus and keep him first and foremost in our lives. May the Lord in his love and in his kindness and mercy continue to walk with each of you each step of the way. And may our mother Mary, our lady of perpetual help, intercede for you with her loving son. Amen and God bless you.